take a moment to think about how astonishing it is that we have evolved from simple amphibians to become the most intelligent species on this planet. It's remarkable to see how much we have progressed as a species. However, throughout this incredible journey, one thing has remained constant, our sense of community. From our earliest days as primitive humans, the concept of community has played a vital role in our growth and survival. It's fascinating to see how this concept has adapted and evolved with us over the years. Even in our modern and technologically advanced cities, the notion of our community continues to shape our lives along with one, th one of our greatest tools, technology. But why do we continue to cling to our needs for community for thousands of years? Well, from our earliest days as primitive humans, community has played a critical role in our survival. Our ancestors realized the dangers around them and recognized that they could not rely solely on their physical abilities. Thus, they developed the concept of hunting in groups, laying in the foundation of the community we know today. This idea became ingrained into our subconscious and was passed down generations for generations and became a part of our DNA. Fast forward to present day where technology has become an integral part of our lives, reshaping our community and how we interact with one another. As we continue to rapidly evolve technologically, we can expect to see even more profound changes in the way we live and interact with each other. So, let's explore the possibilities of modern technology and the breakthroughs that have led us to where we are today. In the past, we faced numerous of challenges that technology has since solved. Back then, Physical labor was the primary means of accomplishing tasks. That took a toll on the workers. Additionally, connecting with people over long distances was a daunting task, with letters being the primary means of communication. And thankfully, when technology has solved all of that, making our life easier and more convenient. As a society, we are constantly adapting and evolving to our surroundings. And with that comes the birth of technology. This phenomenon has brought about significant changes to our community. And as a result, has made it more enjoyable. We no longer have to worry about distances as apps allow us to send messages, and make video calls everywhere you can imagine. The internet has also made it possible for us to access information anywhere in the world with just a few clicks. This technology comes in pretty handy when you compare it to immersing yourself in 100 pages of a book. And as humans, we are wired to constantly strive for progress and innovation. And our journey has led us to develop incredible technologies like artificial intelligence or AI in short. This remarkable technology has enabled us to do things that were once unimaginable, like engaging in a conversation that mimics 
human's interactions, or even responding to your requests and wonders in a matter of seconds. However, we must acknowledge that there is a downside to its widespread accessibility. Its ease of use and availability to almost everyone has resulted in many becoming over-reliant on it to a point where it can be compared to a disguised drug. Once interrupted, can cause frustration and even elicit uncanny responses due to their dependence on it. A recent research by a recent research by the Northwestern University of America have shown that individuals with screen time of over 68 minutes or more are at higher risk of depression. The significant reason behind this is the lack of face-to-face -face communication. And more specifically for children who spend extended periods on their mobile phones have shown signs of depression and negative effects such as reduced eyesight and psychological well-being. Many of us have witnessed how the internet and technology can be a double-edged sword, opening up a world of possibilities and connecting people from all the corners of the globe. But like any powerful tools, it has the potential to be misused and cause harm. I myself have experienced the harm coming from the internet, known as cyber harassment which left a stain on my memories, and it could have ended worse if I did not act promptly. And I'm not alone when it comes to this issue. Another research by Rendesha M. Times and Jade Rose on the Journal of Adolescent Health have shown that cyber harassment is responsible for depression and anxiety for students ranging from the grades six to 12. So, where does this leave us? As we wrap up this talk, it's important for us to remember that the impact of technology is ultimately up to us. We are the ones who chose to embrace technology while still preserving our sense of community and humanity. As technology continues to evolve, we must also evolve with it, ensuring that we use it for the betterment of ourselves and those around us. It's a balancing act that requires us to be mindful and intentional of how we use technology, recognizing its potential to bring us closer together while also acknowledging its potential to push us apart. So, let's keep exploring the possibilities of modern technology while still staying connected to our community roots. Let's use technology to empower ourselves and those around us to create positive change and build a more united community. Thank you.